Hello viewers, Oscar from MSTTV here, and today we're discussing ethics in Yu-Gi-Oh! So in light of recent events with Patrick Hoban at ARG Fort Lauderdale, and the card that looks like this. <laughs> Basically what happened at the event is Patrick Hoban was siding against his opponent, and he asked his opponent if he wanted to agree that each of them side out Jin Releaser of Rituals from their decks for games 2 and 3. But what really happened was, when Patrick Hoban would side out a Jin, he would actually put a Jin in from his sideboard. Technically speaking, what Patrick Hoban did isn't really cheating. According to Yu-Gi-Oh! rules, um, the contents of your deck aren't public knowledge, and even though you say that you're going to do something with your side deck in between games, you're not really required to. So Patrick Hoban couldn't be awarded a game loss or anything for his conduct here. Now what happened was actually really unethical, because Patrick Hoban and his opponent made a mutual agreement to side out Jin Releaser. However, he kept his in, and so for all intents and purposes, he really didn't side it out, and he was deceiving his opponent. When Patrick Hoban asked his opponent, do you want to side out Dijin, he didn't mention that, do you want to side out Dijin, but I will side in a Dijin. He purposely deceived his opponent to believe that Dijin will no longer be in the main board, while keeping it in. So the actual definition according to the dictionary of cheating is to act dishonestly in order to gain an advantage, in particularly in a game. Now this is the perfect definition of what Hoban did. He deceived his opponent to believe that Dijin was being sided out, but he's gaining advantage because he actually kept it in. So I think here it's important to consider Hoban's side of the argument, and on the ARG website, Hoban actually posted an article um, explaining his thought and his reasoning behind what he did. So basically what Patrick Hoban said is that it's not the player's responsibility to make the game as fair as possible, that's Konami's job. And that anything that the players do that isn't ch technically cheating should be legal and good players are going to use these um, legal plays to gain advantage over their opponents. Now what Hoban argues is that he's acting within tournament policy. However, it's really important to note that policies eventually change. And ethics define policy, but policy does not necessarily represent ethics right now. Basically, what I think is that when you're in a competitive tournament like this, at an ARG, a YCS, or a regional, I think that if it's legal for you to do, and you have the opportunity to make this play, and it gives you a better chance at winning, you should go ahead and do it. Ironically, I actually think different. As a semi-competitive player, I actually feel like that good sportsmanship is very, very important in any game. As the face of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh!, Patrick Hoban should really be setting a good example to create a more positive community. He's really in the position to be able to create such a positive community, and he should really be taking advantage of doing so. Here's something that I want you guys to think about. Uh, we're going to consider two scenarios here. The first scenario being what if instead of Patrick Hoban uh, doing what he did, what if somebody else, um, a player who doesn't really have any kind of reputation, did it to him? I think that in this scenario, everyone would be trashing on that player. No one would be stepping in his defense to say anything in support of him and everyone would just be trashing him at every opportunity possible, saying that he did the completely wrong thing. Yeah, this player would get no support at all, and he would pretty much be burned at the stake. The other scenario that I want you guys to consider is what if this happened between two players that don't have any reputation whatsoever? In fact, I'm pretty sure it probably has happened and is going to continue to happen at different smaller regional uh, or even YCS events. And honestly, I don't think that many players or many or much of the Yu-Gi-Oh community would really care to say anything about this. Uh, just because neither of those players have much of a reputation, uh, this wouldn't have drawn nearly as much attention as it does with Hoban being involved. Yeah, absolutely no one would care about it at all, and it would just be another day. I actually feel like it's really important for Patrick Hoban to be an ethical player. As someone who has nothing to prove in this game and have topped numerous events and probably become one of the best players in the world, 
being an ethical player and protecting his legacy is incredibly important for him. When it's all said and done and cards are not worth anything anymore, Konami is a dead company and there's no one playing this game, what's important is that people will remember him as a great person and a great player. Personally, I would never recommend anyone to take a gentleman's agreement in a competitive game, especially at a YCS or an ARG. Because this is a completely unenforceable act, and Konami will do nothing about it if someone lies to you. Well, that's everything that we have to say on this issue. Um, if you guys have your own opinions about what you guys think should or should not be done in this case, uh, please leave a comment down below. Yeah, if you think we missed anything, or if me or Kenny are just wrong, make sure to leave a comment. If you like this video, give us a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure that you guys subscribe. And until next time, make sure to hold on to your MST. Dot TV. Ready? Go. Yeah, I'm going. Okay. Let's start. Good. Featuring the card that looks like this. Uh, your hand needs to go lower. What? Low, lower. This hand, the other hand needs to go in. Uh, this okay. way. You don't move your body even closer this way. Okay. Uh, higher. It's not this. It's it's actually more. Oh, it's like a claw. It's like a claw. Shit. Your hand needs to move in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get close. That hand needs to go lower. And her face is this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty close. <laughs>